my broskies, my name is Lupus, and today I have some amazing news, and I'm so pumped, and I'm ready to give you guys this information. The other day I uploaded some up, some brand new news about the Xbox One and how you could probably use used games according to what the publisher of the game allows you to do, and I explained that there was no way that they wouldn't. But now today, thanks to my friend Gellid Falco, aka Captain Rex1234, aka Carlos, he linked me to this link, and here it is right here. And we are going to go over this and read this together, and I'm so pumped to bring you guys this. I pride myself in bringing you guys the latest in news, and being on Xbox, and showing how they are going to be just as good as PlayStation now, and there's no flaw to it, and any of you Xbox fans out there can get an Xbox without having any disadvantage to PlayStation 4. This is huge. Okay, let's go ahead and read this. Last week at E3, the excitement, creativity, and future of our industry was on, was on display for a global audience. For us, the future comes in the form of Xbox One, a system designed to be the best place to play games this year for many years to come. As, our, as is our heritage with Xbox, we designed a system that could take full advantage of advances in technology in order to deliver a breakthrough in gameplay and entertainment. We imagined a new set of benefits such as easier roaming, family sharing, and new ways to try and buy games. We believe in benefits of a connected digital future. Since unveiling our plans for Xbox One, my team and I have heard directly from you. They've been listening, guys. They've been reading your, our comments and listening to our feedback. I would like to take the opportunity today to thank you for your assistance in helping us reshape the future of Xbox One. You told us how much you love the flexibility you have today with games delivered on disc. The ability to lend, share, and resell games as at your discretion is of incredible importance to you. Also important to you is the freedom to play offline for any length of time anywhere in the world. So today I'm announcing the following changes to Xbox One and how you can play, share, lend, and resell your games exactly as you do on Xbox 360. Here's what that means. And here it is guys. This is directly from Microsoft. This is them informing us of what they are going to be doing. This is not from some false source. This is not from some opinionated fanboy like my other source possibly could have been from even though it had quotes. This is what they are doing. An internet connection will no longer be required to play offline Xbox One games. After a one-time system set up with a new Xbox One, you can play any disc-based game without ever connecting to online again. So as I said in my last video, you can if you have a download, you still will probably not be able to share it, but it is downloaded. But the disc-based game will be able to connect online anywhere. There is no 24-hour connection requirement and you can take your Xbox anywhere you want and play your games just like on Xbox 360. Trade in, lend, resell, gift, and rent disc-based games just like you do today. There will be no limitations to using and sharing games. It will just work as it does today on Xbox 360. And then he goes on to mention some other things. In addition to buying a disc from a retailer, you can also download games from Xbox Live on day of release. If you choose to download your games, you will be able to play them offline just like you do today. Xbox One games will be playable on Xbox any, on any Xbox One console. There will be no regional restrictions. These changes will impact some of the scenarios we have previously announced to Xbox One. The sharing of games will work as it does today. You will simply share the disc. Downloaded titles cannot be shared or resold, as it is today if you download something you cannot share it. Also, similar to today, playing disc-based games will require that the disc be on the tray. We appreciate your passion, support, and willingness to challenge the assumptions of digital licensing and connectivity. While we believe that the majority of people will play games online and access the cloud for both games and entertainment, we will give consumers the choice of both physical and digital content. We have listened and we have heard loud and clear from your feedback that you want the best of both worlds. Thank you again from your, for your candid feedback. Our team remains committed to listening, taking feedback, back, and delivering a great product for you later this year. And that's it, guys. This is the amazing product we will be getting, and it has no limitations now. All the limitations have been removed, and I am so pumped about this. And I would just like to give a personal thank you to Microsoft for listening to everybody, everything that I have said and that many others have said. And now we, the Xbox is on the same level as PlayStation. So any of you guys out there who wanted the Xbox but were confused and scared by what they have said, no longer do you have to be like that. You can buy the Xbox and keep playing the console you love. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did like this video. Be sure to smack that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Just a little bit of loving, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and check out some of my old videos. And peace.